Hello fellow breeders, my name is FF Please, and I will be demoing a new tool by Elite Breeders Club called the Axie Breeding Wizard. This program will automatically match your axes together based on the traits you wish to target without needing access to anything but your public Ronin address. We also have a text file export feature that works with MaxBrand's automated breeding script, and when combined, the total time you spend breeding will be reduced by roughly 90%. I'll do a run through right now of some of my balloon hair birds just to show you how fast you can get things set up and start saving time while always choosing the perfect pairs. First, you will need to download and open the software. It will prompt you to enter the license key and activation token, which will be provided to you in the email of your choice after buying our software. And once you get the keys, you simply click activate and we're good to go. The first thing you need to do is enter the Ronin address of the account that you want to breed on, and the program will load all the axes into your account. So you first come into the Axie Inventory tab, and you click Import, and then can paste the address that you want to breed on, and then click Done. When you do that, all of the axes will load up that are in the account. You can also add axes by their IDs directly uh, by typing them in here and then pressing this plus button. And then you can also remove individual axes if you uh, do not want them in the pairing script for whatever reason. And you can also clear the whole entire inventory for when you go to your next breeding round that you're going to do. So let's import these back in, and that's pretty much it for the Axie Inventory tab, and we'll head over to the actual breeding simulator. Alright, so all of our axes show up in this panel on the right side, and currently right now it is not optimized for any part specifically, it's just optimized for purity. Um, so if you want to actually match them to the specific traits that you want, you have to come over to here and type in the traits and then click optimize. So say we want to do a balloon, peacemaker, eggshell, hair, bird, then we can go on the back part and type in balloon and the horn will be eggshell mouth is peacemaker and tail is hair. We also include the eyes and ear traits that you can select what you want uh, but automatically if you don't input anything in for the traits it will just default to the to purity so in this case it just already defaults to bird parts but we'll just type it in anyway. And then if you say want, you know, you don't care if it's bird or uh, an aqua part in the eyes because you just care about speed, then you can enter multiple parts and it will weigh them equally in the calculations. And you can also do this with other parts. So say I wanted eggshell or kestrel, you can also type that in and it will just uh, weight them evenly in the calculation of both eggshell and kistel. So I have all of the traits that I want for the ideal axi, and up here you can set the max breed count. So right now I'm only filtering through axes that are zero breeds, but if for whatever reason I bought something off the market or I wanted to match with things that were more than zero breed, I you can just increase this max breed count number and it will pop up axes that are up to five breeds. So bring that back down to zero and then we can click for optimized traits here. So now it reshuffled all of the pairs and it put the highest quality axes at the top. So what quality means is what are when breeding these axes together what is the percentage chance that they're going to turn out perfectly given all of their recessives and their percentage chance so this pair for example has a quality score of 53 percent so if you're breeding it twice then you have pretty much a hundred percent chance that you're going to get uh, what you want and then purity is just 
the percentage chance that all of the dominant traits end up being pure. So how you actually pair them together is you come over here and you can either type in the amount of times that you want to breed or you can lock it in and then type in the, how many times you want to breed. But every time you lock it in, it will just shoot it up into the top of this list. So say you want to breed, uh, it has a 53% chance to come out and you want to breed it four times. So you then lock it in and it reshuffles. It uh, takes these two axes out of the pool of the calculations and then it only, it reshuffles all of the other pairs together and then puts the one with the highest quality at the top. So in reality, all you really need to do is just look at the per quality percentage, enter the amount of times you wanna breed, lock it in and go to the next one and just keep doing that over and over. And there isn't necessarily really a reason to look at the recessives unless you're trying to uh, increase the odds of say like with clamshell this axie is going to sell for more than it has watermelon or something like that. You can also come through here and look at all of the recessives and the percentage chances to make sure that you're completely maximizing your profits. But in most cases, all you have to do is just select the top one. So this one I will also breed four times. This one I will breed three times. And then say, you know, for whatever reason, I don't want to match this one because it has uh, something in the recessives, then I can go down to this one, and even though it has about a 1% chance less to come out, I actually want to breed this one instead three times. So when you click lock, it will bring that one up here and uh, skip over the other one, because I was saying as you lock them in, they uh, shoot up to the top of the list. So now we're getting down to a little bit lower percentage chances. So I'll maybe do this one twice. Do this one twice. And then now I think kind of the, the quality percentage is getting a little bit too low. So I'm just not gonna breed after this point. And every time that you lock in a breed, the, it tells you how many breeds you have locked. It tells you how many times that you're breeding everything and the amount of AXS and the amount of SLP you're going to need to breed all of the things that you have locked in. And locked in, I just mean by clicking this heart. So if you want to manually breed, you can click on this uh, Axie ID here and it will link you to the Axie on the marketplace. And then you can say, just like copy this um, and then go to, and then click on this, and then when you're in the marketplace, you just click breed, and then you just uh, command or control F to search for this Axie ID if you're doing manual breeding. But if you are using something like Max Brand's breeding script, then you can come over here and click export, and it will export a text file to the chosen folder. And in this case, uh, you can actually set it up to do the, text file that is in the breeding text file that is in Max Brand's script. So what you can do is you just need to rename it to breed. And when you click save, it will automatically overwrite the breed text uh, file that's in that folder. So you click replace. And then now I am ready to go into Max Brand's script and just start breeding after I buy the AXS and SLP, of course. So let's just go look and make sure that uh, Max Brand's breeding script actually picked up uh, and saved the text file that we are looking for. So it looks like 443322 and we chose 443322, awesome. So then you can just go ahead and open up the terminal and run the breeding script. If you guys are interested in buying this software, we will be selling it for half an ETH each uh, through the Elite Breeders Club. I will provide a link to the Discord of the Elite Breeders Club as well as the Discord IDs of people you can get in contact to in order to buy it. And you will basically just fill out a form 
um, and send money to our Ronin address and we will get you the uh, license and activation key. And if you're interested in where exactly in the Elite Breeders Club Discord you go, uh, there is the EBC Wizard part of the Elite Breeders Club um, is where you can get some help on buying the software. Thank you for watching and happy breeding.